Asleep at the wheel. Oh, I see okay, myself Nikki, on my monitor. As soon as... I <clears throat> okay, very good. Thank you, Bill. Say something. Heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Yes, okay. I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm All right, you continue so to get who's out ready. in California? Has the heat wave broken out there? A little. But no. I mean, I'll know no, when I'm done no, in here. No, 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 no. But I don't think it's 100 today. Maybe in the 90s. Let's see. Can you bo uh, boost your volume again, Burke? Hey, Elmo. <clears throat> Yes, I oh, can boost my volume. Taking... Okay, there you go. That's better. Um, heat wave taking a couple of days off. Excellent. Uh, um, yes, we're looking for the we're looking for the harp, the harp ladies. Sometimes they're late. What is it? I, in the city, I think it's just reaching eighty. Myra Joyce stayed. At her place today because her swimming pool is closing next weekend. So she wanted to get another day of, I don't know if she does actual swimming, but lounging by the pool. Are you in the, the hot child? Hey, Dale Paco. No train, you said, right? No more train for you. 86 in New Jersey. Oh, boy. Sitting, Myra sits by the pool. Pool season's ended, not for Myra. The, um, her pool stays open for two weekends just for tenants. And I think you're on your own. I believe there's no lifeguard. Oh, the, the water was, oh, that's right. It's not a heated pool. One more weekend, and then it's closed till next spring. San Diego does not have fall, just extended summer. No, I like fall. I, I, I hate, I loathe winter. The other three seasons, it's okay. Oh, I don't know about that. Redacted said spring will be here before you know it. Is that tomorrow? <laughs> they empty it. They put a fence around it. Oh, okay. It would be nice if the final day they filled it with like champagne. Uh, Groundhog. Yeah, when is that? That's February, right? Dickie D. Hey, Roberto. Oh, fill it with jello. <laughs> See who can swim the length of the pool before the jello gels. Ah, adult beverages. Do they have a snack bar and like a soda bar at the pool, Meyer? Can you buy stuff there? Yes. Leo did a great job. Stole the last of Good Days in Mad. I mean, I kept three hard copies and three soft copies for emergencies. <laughs> you know, like Weird Al comes over or something like that. Well, Lynn Manuel. Actually, I sent Lynn Manuel a copy. Winters are bleeding you where the New York City winters aren't bleeding me. Swamp thing busting out of the engine. Yeah, the one good thing about not having a boat is that I don't have to worry about winterizing it. Oh my God, Weird Al. We're buddies. He's a huge Mad fan. Uh, he invited the whole Mad staff to his show at the beacon and then we went up and 
chatted with him for a while in the dressing room. We had lunch with him several times. <clears throat> and he edited an issue of Mad. Uh, he picked all the material for it. And I think when he did that, I think Barnes and ba back then, Mad was available at Barnes and Noble. We had some sort of a deal at Barnes and Noble where he came. Yeah, he's a he's a real sweetheart. Dick, I'm almost ready. I have to take a couple of bites of this ramen really quick. I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay, very good. I hope he doesn't mind. Are you in the Roku special? Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, the Roku special is going to be bizarre. Do you know about that? It's a, a, a mockumentary of Weird Al's life. And who's playing Weird Al in it? Who knows? It's someone you would never suspect. Howard Stern? Oh, that's a good guess. Weirder. Weirder. It is. Yeah, Weird Al. Yes, exactly. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> who evidently is a weightlifter or something because I saw wait, some wait, wait. pictures of him. Harry Potter or James Bond? Harry Potter. Got it. <laughs> playing Weird Al. Nicholas Cage is a good guess. <laughs> Gumby says, no, Howard Stern is, play is playing Linda Tripp. Danny DeVito, Russell Crowe. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I think that's November 4th for that movie. Pee Wee Herman. Wow. Oh, Doug, uh, Doug M. put a, a link to the trail in there. Weird Al, Dr. Demento. From time to time, Dr. Demento, I think, plays some mad stuff. What theater did Weird Al use in New York for? Um, well, the theater, I forgot the name of the show we saw there. It was at the Beacon Theater, which is big. It's uh, 3,200, I mean, big for, for the city. I mean, people who go to those giant arenas, nothing like that. But the beacon is 3,200 people, a.k.a. Paul Rubens. Yeah, exactly. And you're going to be talking to Leo tonight. It's the I final think... silent disco. Okay, ready, ready, ready? Um, let me double check a couple mm. things, but yes. Yeah. Okay. You announce, I'm ready. Okay, got my script here. <laughs> um, hold on, let me put my headphones on. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing. Hold on. Yep. In that case, I'll take a sip of soda. Yep, finger on the hot button. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> A little late to string those harps. Wow, excellent. Whoa. They've been practicing. Okay. Turn up my headphones so I can hear myself. Um, Dick, today is September 10, uh, 2022. This is the GizFizz episode 492. And it's going to start in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the GizFizz with the GizWiz. It's kind of like... Cheese whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, 
Matt's Mattis Ryder, and the guest with Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Wow, the Hop Ladies are here and sounding great. And who wants to be? Don't fight over this. Who wants to be chat room celebrity of the week? Boy, not even the crickets are interested. <laughs> All right. We have come to a new. No, no crickets. The cricket said, nah, nah. All right. Oh, there they are. Oh, they are. They're late. Wow. You know, you know, your show's in big trouble when even the crickets show up late. Okay. We don't need that. We got lots of other stuff. We have photos you captioned. Uh, compliments of George Davis. We have fun facts also from George Davis. Logo. I'm not saying you're stupid. That's one of my favorite things, uh, guessing uh, percentages and sizes of things. And then we have match game. And you'll make up a snappy answer to a stupid question. All right, let's start with photos. From G.D., George Davis, photo one is this. Okay, mega balloons, lots and lots of balloons floating free. And each balloon seems to have a tag on it. So I guess they are balloons with a message, but it can be what ever you want it to be tons of color balloons floating up into the sky with notes attached uh, uh, um. all right now what is going on with my chat room here just keep stopping um blue balloon palooza wouldn't you like to ride 99 multicolored balloons hey even balloons go south for the winter our uh, early christmas wish for santa gender revel reveal mix up are those loft balloons george loon is lower bandwidth than expected don't forget to pick up your mess afterwards. Balloon messages up to heaven saying, where's the Roku password? Up, up and away in my beautiful balloon full of hot air. Vote by mail. Hey, Jack, we have email. I sense a great disturbance in force as if a million kids cried out in anguish. Oh, my God. Uh, one of them has helium in it. I guess uh, the right one. Win a prize. Pilot's worst nightmare. One of those balloons has a million dollar check in it. Another up, up, and away. New balloon raced out of space. That'd be the easy way to do it. Uh, now that's passing gas, helium. How to email God. Oh, that's good. IFOs. Squirrel hot balloon contest. Shooting stars all going in one direction. Jailbreak. Sex ed in kindergarten. Sending a message to the aliens, internet before Tinder, Starlink launch, all the colors except black, birds swallowing latex is not good. With all those balloons, the real estate business must be good. It's someone's birthday I message, pride sperm release. Photos you can caption from George Davis. Uh, um, and we'll end with find one of these and get an inspiring message, says Giz One. And George says, for many balloons rising in the sky, my caption is, if your card has a red X on it, whoa, it means you have just won $400. Send the code along with your address, and we'll send you your cash right away. All right. 
Okay, photo number two is... Okay, a boy, maybe a, a young man, on an elephant, and a younger boy, um, I guess, petting the elephant. I don't know, the elephant has something in his trunk, I think. Anyway, it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, Bamba Boy of the Jungle, Disney has gone too far. Hey, kid, release my elephant. Jungle Uba, my eyes are up here. Elephant is shaped like a toothpick. The Jungle Cruise, Elephant Edition. Dumbo, <laughs> tell me, says Dumbo 3, The Revenge. It's a deal. Let's shake on it. Give me five. Hey, kid, get your own ride to school. Hey, he took my hat. Elephant O. Graham in route. Take this message to your leader. Jungle Eye Message. Snack time, Uber driver, new tipping. Glad to meet you, jungle messenger. <laughs> Logan says, how to properly crank start an elephant. My mom said I can't have a cat, so. Hey, kid, pull my trunk. Mom, he took my turn riding the elephant. Thanks to the tissue, sharing a trunk with an elephant, Elephant Express. The answer is irrelevant. That's pretty good. Uh, Indian Hogwarts mail delivery. Meet is running. Arm trunk wrestling. New elephant. Who this? Uber Fint. Uh, Amazon jungle delivery. The elephant gets a... <laughs> Logan says, elephant gets jury duty summons. <laughs> Yeah, they'll get you no matter what. Maintaining your pet elephant and we'll end with. Hold tight. I don't want to sneeze. Okay, George said, for a young boy riding an elephant, uh, my caption is, besides helping us with our chores, our elephant loves to play with the Frisbee, which he can toss for Hundred feet. Uh, okay. Photo three is this. Okay. Basket of ripe tomatoes. A basket of ripe, quite good looking tomatoes. Tomatoes, the fruit. All right. Basket of deplorables. Attack of the killer tomatoes. I say tomatoes, you say tomatoes. Uh, preparing for the next terrible concert. Salsa time. Baby ketchup. That's a one spicy um, tomato. It's pasta tonight. Loke says I'm eating one now. Happy as a bunch of tomatoes in a basket. Ready for the <laughs> ready for the premiere of the Gizwiz movie. Now these tomatoes aren't rotten. Oh uh, man, that fresh was from mean. <laughs> yeah. What mine or his? Um, his? Fresh from our garden. In a week, they should be ready to throw. One of them is alive. Heirloom mottos. How did they figure out how to grow a basket around the tomatoes? Perfect for the next rally. Which one has the worm? The left tomato said to the right tomato, you're quite the tomato. Uh, from a child's point of view, the ammo's ready soon. Buy one, get one free. Now I can make some sauce. Leftovers from the, month, uh, the Motley Crew concert. Time to make salsa. Magoo, fresh tomatoes, yummy. Oh my God, iTech has it. Just missing basil and mozzarella. Oh, my God, we had that last night. Tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, and some olive oil and vinegar. Ammo for tonight's fight. Attack of the Camilla, of the Killer Tomatoes cast. And we'll end with one-third of a BLT. That's very good. Uh, George said, for the basket full of ripe, whoa, they were beefsteak tomatoes. 
My caption is slice one five inch beef steak tomato, put it on your hamburger. You won't be disappointed. Sweet and juicy. Uh, okay. Photo four. Photo four is uh, two men, kids, or women. I have, we have no idea they're wearing so many clothes. Uh, riding a heavy-duty bike up a snow-covered mountain. All right. Let me just look at George's. Oh, okay. George says two bikers coming down on a mountain trail path. So it can be up or down, but they're, you know, mountain bikes with the big nubby tires. All right. Extreme mountain biking with the new Apple Ultra Watch. Oh, another Apple Watch Ultra testing in progress. Another biker rig during bike lanes. You go first. I'm scared to death. I think we took a wrong turn at the motocross race. Cycling in front of a VR screen, testing bike snow tires. <laughs> Whoever falls over the edge last is a rotten tomato. Don't make eyes with any Yetis. This commute is getting old quick. It's cold in here. Uh, do that ET flying thing again. Check out the juicy tomatoes on that guy. Share the road. Move over. Somebody's new commute. Mount biking the Sierras, Kansas grew mountains. Um, my tires may pop. The air inside is frozen. Another testing the new Apple Watch Ultra. Snow tire test. Pikes Peak Summit. Watch out for the rock. It's a mirage. <laughs> Does this bike make my butt look fat? Elmo, Kansas has a mountain. Sunflower. We're going back. I forgot the basket of tomatoes. Let's take a winter wonder ride. It'll be fun, he said. It's not that cold, he said. And we'll end with Martron. The trail has gone cold. Okay, George said for the two bikers coming down a mountain trail path, my caption is, it only takes us about 10 minutes to come down. Our 12,000 foot run, very exciting. Uh, okay, photo five is this one. Um, what's that, rugby? Let me, let me look at George's. Definitely. Uh, oh, yeah. Many players getting muddy playing rugby. All right. Muddy rugby players. Muddle huddle. Anybody see my contact lens? Next Tide commercial. Protect the ostrich egg at all costs. That's very funny. A manly mud mess. You put your right elbow in. I didn't sign up for this. Rest lingo. Take that. NFL no pads. What a rain delays. If you touch my butt one more time, Mud Bowl 2022 X5 XV laundry detergent commercial. Grown men making fools of themselves. The Mud Bowl. My laundry detergent is better than your laundry detergent. Testing a new laundry detergent. Uh, football gone wild. It's not rugby, it's mud bee. I read the rules. Rugby is a dirty sport. Oh, my mom said, don't get my clothes dirty. Got tied. I should have stayed with Quintage. I told my mom I wouldn't get my new shorts dirty. Making American football players look weak. Things are getting dirty. Cheer. Get out. It's my turn in the mud pit. And we'll end with Morgus football without protection. Um, George says, many players getting muddy playing rugby. My caption is, 
Uh, as you can see, I got this ball fair and square. Now let's continue with the game. Okay. Okay. And finally, caption, caption, photo six for you to caption is this. <laughs> Two kittens dressed up in clothing, one with a rake and one with a watering pail. Okay. Two kittens or two cats dressed up, one with a watering pail, one with a rake. Uh, American Cat Gothic. Aww. Garden Kitties. American, another American got cat, uh, American Cat Gothic. Uh, Adam 24's Garden. We planted sardines a year ago, still no crop. Self cleaning litter box. Off to plant more catnip. Uh, Animal Family Values Cult. Uh, Slavery's uh, Mar and Park Kettle. Uh, what do we do wrong to deserve this? Time for our chores. Oh my God. Uh, did you water the catnip enough, Pa? Uh, on our way to the garden, kitty gardening, a new category in the 2028 Olympics. Our owner, has, our owner has no idea what's coming to them tonight. This is mom and dad's job. They're going to plant a garden over the... Oh, gone. Do you know that cats used to run the world? Most cats are lazy. Finally got some cats doing their share of the work. Mmm, paw. Going to the plant ketchup. Ma and paw kittle. I knew we should have stayed at the shelter. All mice look out. Uh, are we done yet? I'm missing my nap. Uh, Elmo, that's what I was trying to remember. Dogs work from sun to sun, but kittens' work is never done. Time to have time to harvest. Look, a squirrel. Dog must have done it. They'll never see us again. If they make me milk the cow again, I'll scream. Slowly play arms of an angel, and we'll end with K. Wood's Zen Cat Garden. All right. And George said, but two small kittens with garden tools. My caption is, we decided to grow our own catnip, which has a stronger flavor, and we're more pleased with it. So you got uh, many matches. A lot of people said growing catnip. Okay. George continues. These facts this week are all about states. Fact one, the most valuable diamond ever discovered came from what state? The most valuable diamond ever discovered came from which <laughs> state? State of confusion, state of panic, uh, state of anxiety. Can, wow. A ton of Arkansas, a couple of Mississippi and Missouri, Coal right. City, Illinois, Colorado, Arkansas again, interesting, New Mexico, Alaska, Idaho, Arkansas, wow, wow, Arkansas, Arkansas, South Dakota, No Hope, Arkansas, uh, Altered State, Utah, New York State, Penn, Beverly Hills. Yeah, wh what state is Beverly Hills? Diamond State Park. Uh, Burke, any idea? Well, what state? If, I was about to say the Hope Diamond. If the Hope Diamond actually comes from No Hope, Arkansas, then I think I might be right. Uh, okay. But, I don't, Let's see. but that's it. Okay. Uh, the most valuable diamond ever discovered came from Arkansas. It's known as the Uncle Sam Diamond. It is 40.23 carats. It was split and in 19 and in 2021 sold for 
over. Well, you know, let's just play for that because this number sounds weird. I uh, uh, twenty, uh, uh, I forty, and a forty point one quarter carat was split and sold for how much money? Because had I not just looked at the answer, my answer would have been far away. Two hundred forty million. <laughs> Twenty four million at Costco. One one million. Two and a half million. Ten million. Just four hundred thousand. A billion and a half. Burke, any idea? A forty uh, and a quarter carat sold for. I'm thinking uh, half a million. Uh, it, no, no. It, it broken into no. two different pieces, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it just said was split. Yeah, split. Um, so all the pieces. All right. Uh, I expected this to be like ten million dollars. The answer is it sold for over a million dollars. Someone guessed a million. Yeah, okay. I expected. It's a big diamond. That is a yeah. Well, but does it say uh, what they split the split it into no. like carrot wise? No. Oh. Hmm. The, oh, this is good. What state had the first printed phone book? What state had the first printed phone book? Mm, wouldn't be Utah. New Jersey, New York. Rhode Island, New York, New York. <laughs> Come said Alaska, because it was too cold to visit in person. Um, Martron said Rhode Island, and it was on an index card. New York, what's a phone book? Gumby. California. I, I'm going to go with New York. I mean, it's got to be. It has to be New York. That was my one guess of the too. one of the first states, right? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, where's that question? The first printed phone book. Oh, oh. I don't know if this is the first time this no, uh, answer came up, but it is correct. Uh, and 4B, Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut might have gone by earlier, but that's the first one I'm seeing. Connecticut had the first printed phone book. Okay. <laughs> In what state do chickens outnumber people 200 to 1. In what state do people... Wait a second. No, chickens. No, chickens ch yeah, chickens outnumber people 200 to 1. In what state? God... <laughs> It's got to be a big farm state, right? Oh, butter and eggs day. Oh, maybe. That's eggs and butter, but not chickens. Not chicken. Well, you need the chickens for the eggs. Uh, uh, and do then you the know? chickens go out. I mean, the, the I, I can never answer that question. Is it the chicken, the chicken. or is it the egg? <laughs> and then the chickens go out and buy butter. Uh, chickens outnumber people 200 to 1 in what state? Um, oh, oh, California. Why not? California. Uh, any guess? Vermont. Ver Vermont? Yeah. No, they're all making too much syrup up there. Uh, okay. Chickens outnumber people 200 to 1 in Delaware, the Cluck State. What? Delaware. <laughs> Isn't I Delaware guess, like a 
like a little state. It must be the only. Well, that's why I bet you because there's no people. So oh, it's just chickens. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could have like a yeah. hundred chickens, and you're outnumbers the people. Uh, maybe that's it. Um. Oh, I have no idea what this could be. What state has had four capitals in its past and is now on the fifth? Meaning, you know, play, different places that was the capital of this. I've never heard of such a thing. A state that is on its fifth location for the capital. What state is on its fifth location for the for the capital? Um, California, New York. No, New York. I, I, uh, no. Texas could be. Five capitals over Texas, Georgia, Florida, undecided land. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. California has four capitals if you hold down the shift key. Um, North Dakota, they move it when the mayor moves. Well, I, I have no idea. Um, Burke, any idea? I just, I want to say Arizona for some reason, but I can't see any reason how you could possibly move your capital unless it's Neither maybe it's Alaska. I. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what state had four capitals and now is on its fifth? Let me look up. See, uh, I don't see it right here, but if anybody said Georgia. That is the answer. The what? capital was in Savannah, Augusta, Louisville, Mill, Mill Edgeville, and Atlanta. Is there any explanation as to why? <laughs> no. What the hell? No. No. I never would have guessed. George, these, are, these are great fun. Uh, George says, we went through another fine show with flying colors. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. And happy until next time. Bye, George. Yeah, George, I, thank you so much for these. I guess it does kind of make a, make sense. It's Georgia. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, ta -da! Okay. Uh, um, we're going to do some logo. Finish the catchphrase. If it's got to be clean... Ah, 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 ah. Finish this catchphrase. If it's got to be clean, ah, Becky loves logo. It's got to be tied. What? What? Then you have to have it have dirty. Do. Um. Holy cow. Must have been dirty. You've got to be thrown out. Mr. Clean is for you. You have to wash it. Um, it's got to be washed in hot water. It might be censored. What is with what? You're in trouble. It's got to be, uh, finish this catchphrase. If it's got to be clean, it's got to work any idea uh, it, uh, actually it's got to be clean well that's a bit of the answer many people got it all the way through got to be tied yes if it's got to be clean easy it's got to be tied wow well, now that means since we have so many Tide fans, you'll probably know this. What Tide in... <laughs> Maybe you won't know this because I can't even read it. What Tide in wash booster helps close let go of dirt and grime? Does anybody even understand this? What Tide in wash booster helps clothes let go 
of dirt and grime. Low tide, bleach, XK enzymes, tide pods, aha, tide crystals or something like that. Uh, the Tidy Bowl Man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, maybe. You don't know as much as I thought about Tide. A better detergent plus Tide. Bleach. Don't worry, I had no idea either. Burke, any vague idea? Tide now with Xanax. <laughs> um... I don't think anybody even is close. Um, tide in wash booster helps close, let go of, uh, uh, of dirt and grime is called tide stain release. Not a tide one person in chat knew that. No, oh, did they? No, 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 they did no, not. No, not, not one. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Everybody knew the first one. What kind of dispenser does Tide travel friendly Tide? <laughs> Stain remover coming. What kind of dispenser does travel friendly Tide? Oh, uh, travel friendly Tide to go come in. Uh, pods, it's a pen, it's Pez, <laughs> it's a slingshot, a pen, it's a big old, it comes in a flask. Oh, a pen, a stick, a hypo needle, and pellets, a pen stick, a squeeze bottle, a sock, an unmarked box, a new car, a 55 gallon drum. Tide to Pez, pen, syringe, tank a truck. Demo said, I'm seconding a Pez. Tide Z sticks, tasty pods, an N of a Ziploc bag. I'm going with pen, says Mr. Dave. Burke, any idea? Kind of dispensive? Uh, not a, right, not go. a good answer. No, what? I don't what? Know. what? I, I was okay. going to say like a, a a water bladder. Okay, that's not a good answer. Yeah. All right, chat room. A lot of you have it. It comes as a pen tied to go. The tied to go pen. Uh, I will skip the last one. And that was. I will here. Everybody can jump in. Be happy. Feel like you really know stuff. Band Camps is the number one brand of what? Band Camps is number one brand. Oh, let me, there's more on the card. Uh, Band Camps, number one brand of what popular side dish? Uh, um, beanie weenies, fish sticks. Maybe it's not as popular as I thought. Band Camps, America's number one brand of what popular side dish? Frozen fish, congressional pork, pork and beans. No clue, says Jim Tez. Camping fruit salad. Rice? Puke? Um, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Beanie weenie. Fried crickets, green beans, candy yams. Oh, I love candy yams. Um, boy, just a few people have it. Burke, any idea? America's number one brand of what popular side dish? Oh, no. Fish sticks. They make them, but their most popular side dish is pork and beans. <clears throat> you usually minus pork. You rarely, yeah, occasionally you find a little 85% pork. I mean beans. Yeah. I mean beans. Beans, yeah. And sometimes a little piece of pork fat. Oh. <laughs> um, what chain of sporting goods stores shares its name with a fresh water fish? 
Let's see how many sports figures we have. What chain of sporting goods stores shares its name with a freshwater fish? <laughs> this store will flounder. Oh, oh, Trouty McTrout's, Boss Pro Shop, Big Mouth, Bass Pro Shop, Harold's Bait and Tackle, Fishy Bass, <laughs> Bass Pro, Mandy Bass Pro, Burke, any idea? I saw this chat. It's Bass Pro. It is indeed Bass Pro Shops. All right, last. Wow. See, I've never owned a car, so I wouldn't know this. What car care brand? Oh, the chat room should know. Everybody must have a car. What car care brand has a Viking holding a shield as part of its logo? What car care brand has a Viking holding a shield as part of its logo? Turtle Wax, Armor Roll, Buy Me or I'll Club You, Turtle Viking, <laughs> Turtle Turtle, Thor's <laughs> Car Detailer. Alma Turtle Wax All, Mr. Pibb. Shammy Wiper Blades. Mm -mm -mm. Burke, any idea? Car Care Brand with a. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed Armor All. About half of you had it. That was very good. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So I need, to take my, do... I need to take my car to the Thor's Hammer car wash. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to do a I'm not saying you're stupid. What the hell? I'll ask it anyway. What percentage of people have watched a TV show with their partner but secretly watches episodes without them? This is actually a very funny question because like, there are several mystery shows Dennis and I watch, and I would feel guilty if I watched it without him. I think that's What good. percentage of people have watched a TV show with their partner but secretly watched episodes without them? Uh, I think uh, a lot going, of uh, partners would consider that cheating. Uh, boy, I think it's low. I'm just I'm going to go with twenty percent. <laughs> Mr. Dave said it's grounds for divorce in twenty nine states. Yeah. Sometimes. Wow. The chat room is way ninety percent, ninety eight percent, eighty five percent. Wow. Okay, Magoo, uh, Magoo too is with me. What's your guess, Burke? 80%. 80%. Okay. Yes. The percentage of people who watch TV shows with their partner but secretly watches episodes without them is, he turns the card oh, over, mm, 46%. Oh, okay. Actually, well, it was kind of in the middle. It's, the it's secret, like people the went secretly very. Secretly part, I didn't, I kind of didn't really hear. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Shame on them. Oh, this is the, okay. What percentage of Americans live in rural areas? Boy, what percentage of Americans live in rural areas? Oh, define rural. It's, it, not a city. Um, what percentage of Americans live in rural areas? God. 
Um, I'm going to go with uh, my last answer. I'm going 40%. I'm redacted. Burke, what percentage of Americans live in rural areas? I'm thinking it's like 20%. 20%. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you're damn close. 19%. Yes. 19%. Wow. Elmo, you and I are dead wrong. 19%. Um, yeah, because the most, the highest density of the population would clearly not be. Oh, wow. That's another great, qu another great question. How many times its body weight can an ant lift? Not the ant and your uncle across the street, the little crawly thing. How many times its body weight can an ant, A N T, lift? Uh, yeah, I'm with Rufus a lot. <laughs> wow. A lot. No, I'm going with, God, I'm going with a, a hundred times. Because I saw an ant with a brick once, so I mean, that's uh, 40 times, 10. Your ants are strong. Work, what's your, what's your guess? I believe the answer is 100. Oh, well, that's my guess. How many times its body weight can an ant lift? Uh, it's fun when the answers are on the other side of the card. I went with 100 times. Oh, what was your answer, Burke? 100. We are only half right. 50. <laughs> I swear, 50. I remember. I think I thought I thought you asked that question two weeks ago, and I got it wrong then, and I got it wrong again. <laughs> uh, here's our final. I'm not saying you're stupid. What year did Starbucks open their first shop? And it was in Seattle. The first Starbucks in Seattle. What year did it open? <laughs> 1795. Boy, Starbucks is, it's not that, it's not that old. I mean, it might have been big on the West Coast since it started in Seattle. I'm going to, I'm going to grab one of these answers. I'm going to go with Becky. I'm going to go with 1978. That sounds good. Burke? 1982. Uh, okay. Let's see. The first Starbucks opened in Seattle in... What was your answer, Burke? 1982. Uh, uh, way up. Way up. 1971. Ugh. It's like the year after I was born. Okay. That was pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to do our iron. Our, uh, okay. We're going to first do our funky foods. It's really stupid Guinness World Records. <laughs> okay. Oh, this will be good. All right. Here's the, here's the photo. Okay. Um, Donald Gorski, G-O-R-S-K-E, has eaten Big Macs every day since May 1972. How many Big Macs has he consumed? Why does that look like Bill Gates? 
<laughs> well, a little bit. 72, 82, 92, 2002. Wow. 50 years ago. 50 years. You think it would be 10 times that size, wouldn't you? Also, he doesn't look like he's even 50. Uh, anyway, Donald Gorski has been eating Big Macs every day for 50 years. How many did he eat? 20,000? 15,000? <laughs> Okaru says, I was told there'd be no math. Um, 30,000? Um, I mean, if I could do math, I wouldn't. Uh, 18,200. Oh, look at two people in a row did the exact same answer, 18,250. Oh, another 18,000. How weird. I think weird. somebody's Googling something. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm going to go with 200,000. What's your answer? Uh, I can't do math and press buttons at the same time. But I'm going to say maybe if he ate three a day times uh, 50. Oh, wait. No, no. They'd be three times a day times two, three, uh, 256. Uh, yeah. Wait. How many years in the day? Wait, five mil. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, how many, Dick? How many did he eat? Tw 23. Thousand Big Macs. So the chat room, that's pretty good. Does it say if he's still 19, alive? Uh, uh, no, it doesn't say. <laughs> 23,000. McDonald's, they always have a little fact at the bottom. Did you know that McDonald's has training centers around the world and they're called Hamburger Universities? Oh. Wow. So if pushing buttons doesn't work out for you, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's working out. <clears throat> okay. It's okay. the math part that's not working out. Oh, okay. Okay. Um All right. Oh, I I forgot to look in Al Jaffe's book, uh, so I'm making one up. Um people on a line and there's 6 feet between them and a passerby says are you standing six feet away from that person because of social distancing? And you say, eh. okay, you're standing in a line. You're six feet from the person in front of you. And a person comes up to you and say, are you standing six feet from that person because of social distancing? And you say, no, I'm standing two meters away from a stupid American. No, he forgot his deodorant. No, there's the deodorant shortage. Oh, wow, they went by so I, I didn't look up. Uh, uh, um, no, I'm waiting for his halitosis. No, we're waiting for his halitosis clinic. No, I'm in line for the new iPhone. No, I'm about to die. I'm standing six feet away because it's my ex-wife. Uh, it's because he smells. No, I use metric. No, I'm claustrophobic. I'm anti-social distancing. No, this is the second line. The first was for beans. Um, no, because he farted. No, because he hasn't bathed in two years. No, I'm measuring for a casket. Oh, my God. No, I'm actually six inches away from the invisible man. No, I just don't get along with him. No, he stinks. No, imaginary friends need space too. It's Johnny Monday. No, because he stinks. No, because I'm happy to see him. Someone's got a vivid imagination. No, I'm waiting for the guy behind me to stand too close. No, I'm afraid of stupid questions. Uh, no, I got B.O. and gingivitis. No, soon it will be 10 feet. No, someone just pulled his finger. No, I'm waiting for an apple implant. No, I'm standing 1.5 meters away. Okay, we'll end with Brian W. No, if you smell gas, you're too close. Uh, okay. 
All right. Oh, let me ring the phone for Dennis. And we're, oh, you got to want to call for Alex? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um. I think I'm connected. It's a maybe. It's Oh, okay. We'll it looks All like right. it's... It looks like his computer um, picked up, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I'm going I think I'm going to hang up on him and call him back just to make just make sure. I'm not just looking at some uh, weird okay. desktop yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da -da. Alex, are you there calling Alex? Um, okay. Oh, let me get a paper for me and we have an right. alex hold on oh a great hold okay on. yeah oh wait. okay yep hold, hold on alex all right alex we were just beginning oh where is alex <laughs> just up on the roof? The can we see alex's video yeah, yeah. Sounds like it sounds like Alex is up on. It. Oh, it's a little windy. Wow. Well, wait. Close the door. Uh, windows, Alex. <laughs> the air conditioner doesn't work. Uh, well, how are you gonna play match game if we can't hear you? All right, all right, all right. I'll suffer the heat. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's not, It's only gonna be like six or seven. Oh wait, minutes. switch back to the uh, back camera or front camera. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the other one's good. You can see my sagging headliner. Oh, you know, Alex, see if you can uh, <laughs> put the answer in one of those overhead signs. So as we go under, oh, yeah. you can yeah, see yeah. your answer. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure it fits so, right and doesn't. That, like, that would be yeah. good. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. After Frank's wife threw herself under the moving steamroller, Frank blanked her up. After Frank's wife threw herself under under the moving steamroller, Frank blanked her up. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. I think we should get some matches here. Scooped her up, peeled her up, mopped her up, scraped, folded, blew her up. That's funny. Um, shoveled her up, pinned her up, peeled, rolled, spatulared. <laughs> <laughs> you need a big spatula for that. Well, um, do you? <laughs> uh, um, here comes Dennis and Charlie. Okay. Dennis, you, you listen to the question and you can answer when I call on you. Uh, uh, Alex, we're going to start with you. After Frank's wife threw herself under a moving steamroller, Frank blanked her up. Inflated. Inflated her up? I don't think you got an answer, but that's not, not a bad answer. Uh, Burke? Mm. Uh, after the steamroller ran over her, Frank blanked her up. Burke, you said. Helped uh, he's her. Writing. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. Help. Oh, just helped her up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My mind went no, to the gutter. No, ma but, yeah. no matches mm. there. I got some matches. After she threw herself under the moving steamroller, Frank rolled her up. Travis said shook her up. That's, good. That's a good one right there. Dennis. <laughs> After Frank's wife threw herself under a moving steamroller, Frank covered her with maple syrup. <laughs> you know, that was actually my second answer, my first answer. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, um, oh, Charlie Chan said, let's review the clues. Room smells of garlic. Tomato stains on the body. Conclusion. Murder weapon was blank. Oh, I got a good answer for this. <clears throat> Charlie Tan says, let's re review the clues. Room smells of garlic. 
Tomato stains on body. Conclusion. Murder weapon was. There are two great answers to this. And I have one of them. Possibly. Uh, uh, um. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, cannoli, chef boy ID. Oh, that's funny. Weapon was pizza, spaghetti, pizza cutter, pasta machine, a plate of lasagna, attack of the killer tomatoes, pizza on a stick, rigatoni, little Caesars, deadly vermicelli. Oh, my God. A can of Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. Could you repeat the question? Mark? Yeah. Charlie Chan said, let's examine the clues. Smell of garlic. Tomato stains on the body. Conclusion. Murder weapon was blank. Uh, Alex, well, let's start with you. Death murder weapon baked was baked murder ziti. Baked ziti. Um, I don't think you got any matches. You're in the ballpark, Wait, sort of. Baked ziti. Mm. Uh, my, okay, I got some answers. Murder weapon was a meatball. Burke, you said murder weapon was the spaghetti monster. Mm. And Dennis said, um, <laughs> Murder was his Italian mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, da -da. That's a good one. Marvin said to the acupuncture specialist, you can do anything you want, <laughs> but don't stick needles in my blank. Marvin said to the acupuncture, the acupuncture specialist. Do anything you want except stick needles in my blank. All right. So this could be funny or serious. Uh, I'm doing serious. Um, stick needles. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. Except stick needles in my booty, in my mouth. In my wallet, in my fingernails, in my pin cushion, fingernails. That, that's a good answer. In my nose, in my big ZD, in my brain. Wow, I got three answers up top and now none. In my body, in my macaroni. Wow. Under my fingernails. Ugh. All right, Ugh. Uh, Dennis, we're going to start with you. Uh, Marvin said to the acupuncturist, stick needles any way you want, but don't stick needles in my eyes. Lots of people said eyes. My answer was eyes or I. Burke, you said don't stick needles in my bread basket. Okay. You're, he's, you're still back at the... Uh, Meatball question. Uh, and Alex, stick needles any way you want, except in my... Body. Body? Okay, you got a match. I saw body go by. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Norton, the sewer worker, said, I love working in the sewer. On my day off, I bring my blank down here. Norton. You know, Norton from the Jackie Gleason show. So I love working in the sewer. On my day off, I bring my blank down here. Uh, uh, uh. Um. <laughs> Charlie, this is, yes, you'll be next. Can you, Terry, can you hear him? He is so funny. He waits like for four questions. <laughs> oh, 
was the question again? Uh, Norton said, I love working down in the sewer on my day off. I bring my blank down here. Uh, girlfriend, wife, neighbor's wife, inflatable girlfriend. Big Don said lunch, boogie board. <laughs> Mistress fishing pole. Metal detector. Charlie, you're next. Charlie. Charlie. He is so freaking funny. I can't believe it. All right, Charlie. Okay, you're next. Okay. All right. Uh, Burke, we're going to start with you. I love working in the sewer so much. On my day off, I bring my blank down here. Burke says... My problems, uh, no match. I know I match at least one person. I bring my lunch down here. And Alex, you said I love working in the store so much in my day off. I bring my blank down here. Oh, okay, that's a funny answer. What was your answer? My lunch. My lunch? Lunch. Okay. Good. All right, lunch. We got a match. Uh, and Burke, what did you say? I said problems. Oh, problems. Yeah, exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, mm. <laughs> it's time. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on, Charlie. Hang on. Okay. Oh, Charlie. Uh, ta -da. Okay, Charlie, look at, look at, look at. All right. Uh, uh, um. Look at the, okay. I always forget to bring a snake. Okay. But we have to see the tail. Uh, da -da. Okay. Charlie. Oh, he's on camera. Oh, my God. Oh, he's hitting the microphone. <laughs> Charlie said, I don't know what I'm doing, except I'm having the time of my life. And now look at the audience out there. Charlie, they love you. It's your Charlie camp. Yeah, it's your Charlie camp. Look at that tail. Look at that tail go. <laughs> Charlie, this is you're just amazing. Hang on. Like, hang on. This goes really well with Alex, too. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Daniel said, world's energy crisis solved. Charlie's tail. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're back to Thursday for Giz Wiz next two Thursdays. So join us, uh, Chad and I, for Giz Wiz Thursday. We'll be back to do this next Saturday after radio. You've been watching regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. With the Harp Ladies. Old Fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Bargain Basement Burke, Alex Gumpel, Beatmaster, George Davis, Sly One, Tech Dino, Big Don, Jim Tez, Magoo, Okaroo, Morgus, Black Rock, Superoo, Mike B. Caesar, Becky, Myra, Johnny Monday, Giz One, Pack NW, Loke, Manly, Dude Chumley, Roberto Hellman, Geek Wannabe, Retcon 5, and ZX. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not just for turtles anymore. Bye, Adam24. Bye. Burke, thank you. That was great. Chat room, that's great fun. You Thanks, guys Alex. are out of your mind. So I'm on my way down Alex. to Vancouver, Washington to meet up with Jammer B at about 5 o'clock. Oh, great. Tell him hello. I will do that. Have and fun. now that we're done with this, I'm oh, going to Gumby. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have fun. Be careful. Yeah, do that. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Mandy the Clown. Oh, my God. Okay, sorry about that, Gumby. Okay,
Nothing personal, chat room. I just look up and do what I can. All right, see you next week. <laughs> bye, Bert, Dave. Take care. Yeah, okay, see you next bye. Week. See you next week. Alex, take care. Uh, um.